Hello all. This is uh, my new character, Jairus Narthal. And I uh, made a server for this character. It's my own private server. And I don't know how long this is going to take to load, but it might take a minute. But um, I've gotten some basic uh, footing in an area. And I'm just going to continue doing what I was doing. Um, getting ready to try and build a hut so I have a home and then after I have that built we'll figure out what else we're gonna do and this is on standard game settings um, animals are all the way up to 100 and I've made all the skills at 3000 so I can do whatever I want to all of them if I need to and I'm just going to uh, just do whatever comes to mind so I'll figure out what I'm gonna do once we get in all right obviously I need to eat it looks like this should load pretty quickly as you can see right here Ooh, let me get I've paved some of this up I chopped down a couple of few trees I got a bed here I've got a crate a campfire and in this crate let's look in here real quick and I believe I have quite a bit of food in there yeah I've got quite a bit of food in there now it's not very high quality but it's a good start I put that campfire too close to that Oh, if I remember right, before I had to go and quit playing, I had stocked up on some. There's some 88 more food. And then in this one, I'm not sure what I have in there. I think I got sticks in there. Yes, I do. And then I got three logs over here for stuff. Just getting this area all flattened out and getting prepped to build. Um, no mods. I, I'm not a big fan of mods. I mean, they can be cool, but I like playing it standard, so who knows? That might mod later. But uh, that's, this is where I'm at. And uh, let's get started. So check my inventory. I do have 154 rock on me, or stone. And we need to pave, so F3. Now all this that is one point or eleven point five or is already done up. Now that spot and that spot I will be lifting, but everything else I'm just gonna pave. So we're gonna okay. I'm building stone road. This might take a minute because everything's on standardized skill sets. I, I don't know, I just put it that way because I don't want to rush anything. I want to I want it to be built up right. And, ooh, I guess with the streaming it takes a minute to do everything. Or the video recording. I'm using a lot of resources on this computer at the moment. So that's, it's still a handy computer though. Now let's get, let's go this way. I have a wound on my head from a tree collapsing. It actually hit me, so be careful of those trees. I ran into a deer earlier this morning and was chasing it hitting it with stone after stone after stone with uh, my um, sling and it would not die so I have a feeling it is a bug deer and it just has totally too much life or something I don't know if it could have been killed if I would have had more time to attack it I, I might have tried but okay I sh low on stone okay 
Alright, now I should be able to run, but first I want to eat something. Put that down there. Is this good? No, that's not good. We're going to put that right there. These tools are all good. Alright. Alright. Okay, this all looks pretty good here. I kind of want to flatten it out, but not quite yet. Where am I going to put my house? You know where I think I'm going to put my house? It's right in this section here. So once I get these two spots squared off, I think that's where I'm going to put my house. And I'll move those out of the way, and I'll put my house down. And then we'll go from there. Alright. So, we need some more stone. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm yawning. I'm getting a little tired. It's almost time for bed for me. So this is going to be a short video. So, I need to head north. So, we're going to head that way. As soon as we get a house built, we'll be able to recall. It's starting to get night. This will be my first night in this game session. I think I have it set up to be night along with my uh, game time in real life so we'll see if that's the truth or not once it plays more or less throughout each day I play alright let's see here let's go right here I suppose uh, let's go right here alright we're gonna go to dig forward we're gonna left click that or no right click it and then we'll dig forward Let's get F3 off so we can see what we're getting. As you can see, my digging skill is only close to 6. It's not very... Really there is. And stuff's starting to go up a little bit better. Um, due to the simple fact that I'm starting to get better food now. Than when I first started out getting apples. And... It's not really all that special right now. It's only 0 0.06, but we're going to get that off. I'm going to have to sit down and heal all the way and relax my stamina and all that to get it up again. We'll do that after we get this. We're going to get one more Lotus Stone. Rock, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's called rock. Wouldn't it be dandy if I hit something like silver or something? If I did, I'd just mark it with something and leave it until I needed it later. sticks we've got sticks so we're gonna open this up oh actually we want to open the O tab we want to go down to pickaxe primitive we have one flint so we're gonna do that and this is junk so we're gonna set it up there now all right now we're gonna 
Now we're going to go to P. We're going to drag this over here. I like to equip this way, so sometimes it's just seems better for me. Alright. That'll only take a second. Alright, now we're going to start pickaxing again. This means once this pickaxe is done, we're going to have to find some more flint. So, we'll have to search the ground for flint. Artisan, 33.18. At least I'm getting all rock instead of rock and dirt. That might change once I bust this in. I'm going to have to collect a lot, a lot, a lot of rock by digging to get my skill up. Okay, it should be. Yep, okay. Now I want to go south. Alright, we're going to tilt just a little bit. Now, if I had my house built, I could recall home, which would be much easier and quicker, but it's still just a little jog, and that's the purpose for where I place my position at, because there is clay and everything nearby here, so... It's getting dark, and I've never really looked for my place in the dark, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to put this on system so I can see that there in case I have F3 on in that case and I can't read that stuff up there I can still read the lower right hand corner with my chat I should be coming up on it soon I'm looking here That looks like a big old oak. That looks like a big old oak. It's over here, I think. Yep. Alright. Okay, how do we want to do this? Let's come over here. Let's see here. Now, all I really need is these two spots. So, we're going to do a little trick here. We're going to open up our inventory. We're going to split this by 15. 1, 5. Hit OK. We're going to pour this on the ground, right where I'm at. Now, we're going to back up. Now, this uses a little bit of stone underneath of it. And also uses stone on top instead of dirt. But it'll still do the trick because I don't want to dig for dirt right now. Boom. Now... We're going to get rid of this. Let's see, how do I... Oh, tell me I can't inspect. 
Okay, so. Alright, that campfire is definitely going to be there for a little bit because I can't destroy it. Unless I get in GM mode. So. That's going to be uh, a bummer. Unless I just leave it low and leave that for, specifically for my cooking. Um, just as a note to where I'm cooking. And I build out this way. If that's the case, I will have to dig a little bit more. But let's see here. We can go out this way. It won't be too much more. So we're gonna we're gonna get this and we're gonna go build stone road. Right click. Now left click and you can do it. What was that? Sounded like it was coming from my left. Okay, let's see how much rock we got. Not enough for anything. Now see, those are all paved now. Now, let's stand on this tile, and we're going to do this. We're going to go to, um, use shovel, flatten ground. We're going to right-click that, and we're going to do that. Now, I've showed this in many of my videos. This is just in case there's a newcomer. And then we'll just flatten all this so it looks nice so we can see it even better. This will give us a better idea of what we've got built and how it looks. As you can see, the paved areas that centerpiece I'm going to pave too. I'm going to pave one circumference around where I place my house as well. This is just good nature to build this way. That tree has to come down. I'm going to strip it of its bark and strip it of its, uh, its branches and then I'm going to chop it down. Put it in my pile. There's one other thing I do need to do. And that is I need to search for the trees. Oh, I think they're called mulberry trees. Um, they have silk on them and stuff. I want to gather the silk, but I also want to, um, work on, uh, getting them chopped down and being able to plant them kind of deal, too, so I will be doing that eventually. As you can see, that sort of looks like it's paved, but you can still see the dirt in the center. And the grass is going to be there until it gets paved all the way, so. <clears throat> I plan on building at least a one, maybe a two lane road from here to the beach so I can fish.
as you can see, this place is kind of shaped up a lot. Um, I wish I had a before shot of what it looked like, but I didn't take a screen. Um, I didn't take a video, but um, it was definitely quite hilly and back and forth. And this is what I've got so far. All right, that's this is what I have. So, all right, we need more stone for those two spots. And these spots right here, we need to take down a notch. So we will be digging. So we're going to go use shovel. Right click that. Then left click and we'll get this down to 1.4. 11.4 4, I should say. But 1.4 on the last ending digits. Uh, Excusez-moi, pardon me, parlez-vous français? Comment t'appelles-tu? Comme si, comme ça. Très bien. I don't know how much of this dirt I can hold. Probably not too much more. Actually, this is actually forest soil. Escape that. So I'm going to, if I'm going to have any type of fields in this area, I'm going to have to transport fertile soil to this area in order to in order to uh, grow that up. Hmm, which way do I want to go? Let's go out this way. I will have to transport fertile soil out here. But that's okay, we can do that later. We're going to raise the ground level. One at a time. I don't like to do multiples. It might be kind of annoying for you to do click after click but it's easier for me than to do uh, too much at one time because then I catch myself needing to do something else in the mechanics of the game and I sometimes overfill or underfill whichever I'm doing and then it creates more work All right, now let's get some more fertile soil or fertile forest soil. I wonder what the quality of some of this soil is. Fertile forest soil, whatever, forest soil, not fertile forest soil. All right, let's see what the quality of this is. Four, yeah, it's not a very big deal, so we'll just take whatever. It's a good idea to inspect. Oh, my puppy's having a dream. I remember one time he had a dream. He was chasing a rabbit. He was just a running in place. Poor puppy sounds like he's having a nightmare. Okay, I got that up. I'm gonna come over here. Use, raise. I'm gonna raise this too. We're gonna chop down both of these trees. Alright, we're gonna go out one more. Uh, 
Alright. This is just a simple process. Probably nothing eventful will happen. And I will be going to bed shortly. Although it is nighttime. And I've been attacked by wolves at night before. And that really stinks. And if I do, before I get my house put up, that's going to really stink. Because then I'm going to have to run all the way back to my position. Because I do not think my bed saves my spot. I think your house saves your spot. I'm very sure of that. Yeah, I know that's positive. It'd be nice if your bed did save your spot, but uh, I don't think it does. It's, I've never actually tested that theory or not. I could test it. Look at that, three oaks right next to each other. All out. So we're not doing too bad here. No, eventually I'll probably run into a rock. Maybe, if I'm doing this enough. I was on the beach once. And I dug in so far, flattening at a certain degree, that I ran into the rock. And I was having to dig forward and letting the, the ground collapse in order for, which took a few days, in order for it to be flat and able to work on. There's ways to do things, you just have to figure them out. Oh, let's uh, escape that. Alright, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna finish getting these to 1.4 or 11.4. We're going to raise that. We're going to raise this. Alright, now. Alright. Let's see, do I have my axe on? I think I have my hammer on. Yes, I do. So we're going to look P. We're going to get that hammer out of there. We're going to put the axe on. And we are going to chop these trees down. But first we're going to gather the bark. You always want to do all these little things and store all the stuff you gather because they will come in useful later. And it's always good to stockpile what you need. And not utilizing everything is a bad idea. So always do so. Alright. And then I'm going to gather the branches. Now that tree over there is a 77 quality tree. So I'm going to hold on to that until I can get saplings that I can build with that. Or I get a higher quality tree saplings that I can get. But that is going to be a tree that I will use. You guys, first up. Excuse me for building stuff quite often because it's just high quality material. Let's see where these are going. Okay, let's see what quality this is. 10. 
That's only because my nature's lore is not very good. So let's test out and see what quality this is. Let's inspect it. See, it's only 10. So that's good. There's two sprouts on it, but I can't get them. So we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to cut that bad boy down. And we'll get a hardwood billet out of it, so. I think I should store my hardwood billets. And I'm going to build another bark box with this bark to get rid of the weight. Okay. Let's move. I'll group. This will give us a hardwood billet. Now let's see what this one is. 10, so it should stack right directly with that one. And that area is now clear. We're going to pick up this. We're going to lift the object. Oh, a friend of mine is playing Hunt Showdown. I haven't played that game in a while, but that's a very interesting game. It's very interesting. I wonder how it's changed, but uh, for now, I'm only going to keep this game on here. I'm going to keep my computer relatively empty of anything that's excess and just play this. So, it's only got 500 gigs space, so I don't want to bog down the computer too much with too much stuff. I want to keep it so it can do what I want it to do relatively easily. Put that right about is that where I need it to be? Put that right about there. Then we gotta lift it up and we'll place it. That's our little log pile right there. Now we're gonna come over here. We're going to get right on this. We're going to actually do that. Raise the ground. We're going to get rid of the last bit of material we had of that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, that sling ammo, I don't have to have Omni right now. And it would really lighten my burden. But I'm going to hold on to it in case I run into any animals and have to fight. So, Because that's my best defense right now. Because my sling is 55. Alright, as usual, gather the bark. And then once we gather this bark and uh, the tree branches from this particular tree, we're going to build a bark box or store the bark. I think we'll build a box and we'll place it. That way we have no excess materials in hand. And the branches I might just store. So because those are quite heavy. Branches can be quite heavy. My strength is eleven point eighteen. That's not too bad. Alright, now we are going to cut this bed. We'll inspect it just to see what quality it is. Yeah, 7. It's not a big deal. So, that should... It should yield us some good building material to get started with. We gotta be ready to move too. Okay. You never know which way these are gonna fall. Up group. This will be separate from this and we'll leave it separate because different qualities burn at different lengths.
that will be fuel for my campfire though. Or if I want I can save it for charcoal and burn the softwood but the hardwood would be better to be bur burning because it burns longer. Now this is where this game is very ingenuitive. I'm going to show you something. You can do this with all your wood if you want. Now I'm going to step over to the right here a little bit. I'm going to aim just on the edge of the tile and I'm going to drop. Now I'm going to step to the right so I can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, bring it over just a little bit more. Now I'm going to drop it down a little bit. I'm going to move it over. Bring it up a little bit and I'm going to place that. Now you see there I got five. Now if I want, I will show you what I'm going to do next with the next one. Now you can stack directly on top. Um, I don't like doing that. It just seems like it's not right. It seems like you should stack wood like wood should be stacked. So I like to stack it in different ways. But you can stack it directly on top of each other. You can just stack it, stack it, stack it. If they had some kind of gravitational additive in this game where if you stacked stuff in a certain way that the item would fall or collapse then or if weight was put on it they could really get rid of a lot of cheats in this game that people use to get inside walls and it would be they should have to build ladders and deploy the ladders against the wall in order to get in and then you would see the ladder hit your or sound of the ladder hit your your fenced in area or your there's lots of things they could do because you can build keeps and everything in this game so that's one thing I hope they work on and uh, maybe they will if they see this video Alright, let's inspect this just to see what this is. Three quality. That thing is way low quality. That thing should be used for burning. Um, so we're going to cut this down. Now once we cut this, I think I'm going to cut it into... Well, I don't want to cut it into these yet because the weight would be quite a bit. Um... And it won't store very well. I might cut it into boards, cheap boards, and make some more uh, boxes to store some stuff in. So, oh shoot. Let's uproot that. Okay, we're going to put this down here. Now, you will notice if you play the MMO version of this, they have made a fancy, fancy additive to the inventory where it sorts by quality and type, and it's just, it's very dandy, and it's really a good additive, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they add something to that sort of, of effect to this game with an update now I do think the MMO is a good game um, it's different it's not my forte because you have to deal with so many people I like to be playing by myself and I like to just enjoy my time and be peaceable I, I mean fighting is fun every once in a while but for me I don't find it too enjoyable it just gets too too much of a hassle okay now we're gonna we're gonna bring this forward a little bit now we're gonna place that see how I place that now let's look at, at this side see if it looks got good or if it's floating a little bit it looks like it's floating a little bit and it's a little far out but you can if you if you practice enough you can make it look really good 
Yeah, that's a little bit odd, but we're going to leave it. Okay. Now, um, we've got those areas all cleared out now. Now let's check what we've got here, inventory-wise. And um, we're going to come right over here. We're going to get in this. We're going to add all the fuel to it. We're going to add this fuel to it. And close that. Um, this hardwood bullet, billet, or no, softwood billet. Oop, I closed that and it changed my trajectory. We're going to get it in here. We're going to put this right in here. And we're going to put all the bark in here as well. Control click that and it will go right in, but it doesn't sort. Just a little tidbit. If you want it sorted, click and drag. Now that's going to lift my burden up a little bit so, so I can start getting some more of this uh, dirt pulled out of here, this forest soil. So we want to lower and then left click. I think in about 13 minutes we're going to shut her down and I will be going to bitty by people. So. Okay, so I'm at my burden units. 274 is as much as I can carry. So 150. 150 is all I can carry. Alright, so let's go over here. And we have to build up straight out here. So we might actually build our house in a different position. Maybe a little farther out here. Into this area that I've cleared out instead of where I was thinking of building it so it might be in this section I would you know plans change as you go so kind of got to feel it out okay and that's that soil all right so we're going to lower this. Looks like I got some pine trees here. One is pretty big and the other one is a little smaller. It looks like there's a walnut tree. Or uh, not a walnut, a elm tree, an elm tree. I'm thinking of another game. Let's see here. How much do I got there? 90, so let's keep going. Elm, or, uh, yeah, elm trees are your secondary hardwood. Oaks are your first. And I believe it's birch that is your third. Unless you want to go from greatest to least. Or uh, least to greatest. Then you would go with uh, um, the birch. Then you would go to the elm. Then to the oak. And that should be that. Alright, we're going to build this one up now. I 
think that's it. Yep, that's it. Alright, we're gonna keep digging here. Excuse me. I am burping quite a bit. think we'll be able to get all we want from here and one more and what I like about this game is as you dig the turf kind of goes with everything and the trees move and lean in different directions and it's pretty cool all right we're gonna right click this and we're gonna raise the ground It looks like it's raining and it's cloudy out. It's light. So I'm not sure what the cycle is. So It's normal cycle, I'm sure. I might not have enough dirt to do this. Or fertile or, uh, forest soil. I did. Well, we've got an area we can almost put my house now. As soon as I get it all paved. So let's uh, lower this once. We're going to raise this. And, okay, let's see here. Oh, what's my food at? I just thought of that. We're going to eat some food. I've been doing all this work and I haven't... They need to add some kind of, like, noise where when you start to get, like, hungry, your stomach grumbles or something. Like, at a random pace or something. That would be grand... Like, if you're half hungry, it grumbles just a little bit. When you get a quarter hungry, it starts grumbling even more. And then when you're, like, down to the wire, it's, like, starving you or something. Okay, now, let's keep eating. I've got to sit down here and heal up my stamina. The hard stamina is pretty low from doing all that shoveling. Okay, we're going to eat that food. Now we're going to check this one. We're going to eat. Let's get this off. We're going to get 12 cod, but it does 8, 9 value. We're going to pull all that out. Just because. We, well, we don't need all of it. Let's split that. Well, let's eat it for now. Let's get all full. Now we'll restore our health and our hard stamina by sitting. Oh, I got a message. Oh, I know who it is. Be right with you. Oh, she messaged me three times. What a dink. General actions are going on. I don't know how long it will take for my heart stamina and my health to get back up.
that campfire is a sore spot for the looks. I would rather get that flat than build a campfire on it. So all that grass would be gone. Or even dig it down a notch and then throw some stone on it. So it looked like it was stoned a little bit, but like a fire pit. Okay. 96. It's getting there. The hard health probably won't go up as fast, but that's okay. Because that's a wound. Let's see how long the wound's got. 16 minutes. 20 magnitude. Do I have? I have one of this. So that's from lifting the logs. Three of that. Nothing else. Let's see what do we got here. Everything's pretty much at zero. And then these. Farming is. Or is this, no, this isn't farming, what is this? Digging, digging, okay. Yeah, we're uh, not doing too hot on everything, but that's okay. Okay. Alright, that's going to be it, guys. I will see you later, and you have a good one.